Hey, it's India Ari. My new song is called Steady Love. And you're watching my second Steve Harvey Ask Me Anything chat. Thank you for having me back, Steve. What's up, everybody at the morning show? I love y'all. Uh, let's get into these questions. What are you, Stephanie from Windsor, Connecticut asks, what are you most spiritually connected to? Um, I am most spiritually connected to my family lineage, the female lineage of my family. Um, I guess that's kind of a literal connection, but I'm also very aware of who they were and how that makes me who I am. I'm also spiritually connected to music and, and words and nature. Maheen from Pakistan, what are your favorite hobbies? <laughs> um, my favorite hobbies are reading and writing. I love to travel for leisure. I travel a lot for work because I tour and stuff, but I, I love to travel for leisure. And I also love jewelry. I love to collect jewelry, to look at jewelry, to look at pictures and read about jewelry. I'm a metalsmith. I went to Savannah College of Art and Design to study to be a metalsmith. And I love jewelry. I love, mostly these days I'm a collector, but I love it. It's probably my favorite hobby, reading, writing, and jewelry. Mykia from Newark, Delaware. The chemistry in that video is way too real. I can actually see this India David thing. Was the love in this video as real off screen as it was on? Mm. David and I have a cool relationship. <laughs> ah, we'll see how it goes. She from Encino, California. What's the best way to love you steadily? All right, people take note, fellas. The best way to love me steadily is to do what you say you're gonna do. You don't have to say that you're gonna do something. If anybody can do or not do anything they don't or do wanna do. But if you say you're gonna do it, do it. That's how you love me steadily. Also, I love candid talk, like candid but with kindness. If you can be kind and candid at the same time with me, I'm yours. A lot of people can't do that. Sonia from Augusta, Georgia. Why did you choose Steady Love as your first single? I love this song. Thank you, Sonia. Steady Love is not my first single. It's my second single from my album, Worthy. My first single was a song called He's Got That Magic, which for which I did another Steve Harvey Ask Me Anything chat. Um, but I chose this one as the second single because the fans really chose it on social media and I was happy to oblige. I love all the songs and, and I love this one too. Martin from Sweden, do you still get angry with yourself when you spend money on dumb things? Mm. No. Um, I'm, first of all, first of all, I'm quick to return things. I'll take it right on back. Um, so can't be angry for too long if you're going to take it back. But also, I, got, I get a little bit annoyed when I buy something that breaks really soon and I can't return it or something. But... I just keep it moving and because it takes more, it costs more money in time to return something or talk to customer care or something like that. So I just kind of keep it moving. I have to be honest though, I buy a lot of little things. Like I said, I love to collect jewelry. And so I have asked myself if um, later on in life, I'll think some of my purchases were dumb. But right now, no. <laughs> that was a cute question. Alana from Texas, first time you performed as India RE, and do you remember the venue? Um, I do, this is funny. I didn't think I would have an answer to this question. The first, so my name, my birth name is India Ari Simpson. So the first time I performed as India Ari, I was doing a performance in New York for ASCAP. And there's a singer, I don't know how popular she is now, but she was very popular back then. It was probably 97, 98. Her name was La India. And I couldn't just call myself India, so they told me I needed to change it. So my my best friend at the time and still my oldest friend, a singer named Anthony David, we have the song Words together. He was my manager at the time, which is laughable, but he was. And he said, we should call you India Ari. So I started calling myself India Ari. And actually there was a, um, a note on the door of the venue that said, this is not like India, it's India Ari performing here tonight. So I don't remember the venue, it was in New York, it was for ASCAP. Lexi from Windsor, Connecticut. Who is someone you would like to collab with that you haven't already? And please also come to Connecticut. Thank you, Lexi. I was in Connecticut recently. Um, I guess you missed me. 
You can always come see me on the West Coast in the fall. Um, let's see. There are a few people that I haven't performed with that I want to. I feel like my answer is going to make it sound like I love country music, which I do. I love country music, but these are people who I think are legends and I just haven't had a chance to work with them yet. So first of all, soul music legend. I want to work with Bill Withers. I want to work with um, Dolly Parton. I want to work with James Taylor. I want to work with Gregory Porter. I want to work with Willie Nelson. I really, really want to work with Willie Nelson. Um, there's some international artists too. There's a man named Elon Chester. I want to work with him. I think he's South American. Um, yeah. Hmm. Uh, but also, I want to add to that, there's pretty much no one I wouldn't work with if we can agree on the subject matter of the song. I love to collaborate. But the legends, and I would say Stevie Wonder, but I've had a chance to work with him a couple times. So he's my he's my hero, my musical hero. Heather from Los Angeles, how much longer ca can you tour? Aren't you getting exhausted? Yes, I'm off tour. The tour ended a month ago. It was exhausting. It took me two weeks to get myself back together. I have to be honest, I don't like touring. I like the shows and the audiences, but the tour part is crazy. I'm going back again in the fall, but after that, I'm not sure if I'm going to tour again. It's 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 exhausting, truly. Penny from Portland, Oregon. How much luggage do you travel with? I have these big bags that um, uh, Erica Badu actually turned me on to because I used to have these wardrobe cases that were hard to manage and I broke down crying one day and I called her because and I said to her, you're the only person I know who takes as much stuff on the road as I do. What bags do you use? And so she told me about these bags from the container store and they're just gigantic black duffel bags. They're big, big. And my assistant nicknamed them the whales because they're big like whales. So when I travel, I take three whales. They're big. I take three guitars. I take a personal roller bag and a personal bag. So three whales, three guitars, personal, two personal bags. That's a lot of stuff. And sometimes even when I'm taking a short trip, I take it too because it's easier to take all the stuff than to unpack. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, Connie from Tulsa, Oklahoma. What was the first tour you went on? Who was the headliner? And the first tour you were, what was the first tour you went on? Who was the headliner? And the first tour you went, first tour you were an opening act. Oh, so you're asking the first tour I went on as a headliner. Um, I don't know how to describe that. But the first tour I went on as an opening act, I opened for Sade. She handpicked me and I was afraid. And then I realized I need to just say yes and go. And it was the best thing I ever did. Really, we did 50 shows. It was crazy. And she was so nice to me. They put my name on the marquee as big as hers every day. It was, it was really special. Karen from Fresno, California. What are the first thoughts that pop into your mind when you wake up each day? <laughs> um, I start thinking about what is the most important thing I have to do that day. Like, it's like clicks in and I don't know how to explain. I don't know how to explain that one um do you eat an oreo as is or do you open it for the filling I don't like to eat oreos really but on the occasion that I do I take the filling out and eat the crunchy part I have a thing for crunchy cookies Jennifer from Des Moines Iowa what traits do you get from your mom and dad that are starting to pop out now that you're getting older oh my gosh um I guess I'm just kind of starting to look more like them especially my mom uh, I'm becoming more of like a straight talker, like my mom. No, oh, there's a lot of that. Uh, there are a lot of things. I, I don't know how to even detail all that. Monica from Charlotte, North Carolina. What are your plans for the remainder of the summer? I have a little bit of shows. Little bit. I just came back from doing the <laughs> little bit of shows. I'm tired. I'm using poor English. I have a few concert dates. I just came back from Chicago doing the Taste of Chicago. I also just came back from New York doing a private party and um, where someone was turning 40. And I'm gonna be doing a little bit of that. And then in the fall, I'm gonna go on tour. And then also I'm gonna hike and walk and go to the ocean as much as I can and think about my life because things are changing and I'm ready to make some new decisions. Belinda from Dalton, Georgia. What hair products do you use? Um, there's this new product called Curly. Ah, man, I wish I knew the answer to that because I would love to promote her. I can't remember the name right now, I'm sorry. Nina from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. What's the most unusual, unique gift you've received from a fan at a concert? I don't have an answer to that one. 
Um, what's your favorite clothing item right now? Oh, so easy. So my mother made a duster. A duster is like a, a jacket that usually has no buttons, no closures, can reach you know below the knee or to the ground. So my mother made a duster for me that is made of kente cloth. And I've been wearing it. The day she gave it to me back in March, I've literally worn it 99% of the days since March. I just got done wearing it on the airplane. And I wore it in concert every tour. I wear it on the airplane and in concert. I love that duster. It's my boo. Um, what would be the perfect India RE tour shirt? They're on my website. Go to soulbird.com and see my worthy t-shirts. That is my perfect shirt. Have you had new artists come to you for advice? Yes. Not as much as I would like. I have a lot of opinions. Um, but here and there. And I think it's really cool. Which of your vices or bad habits would be the hardest to give up? Indecisiveness. It's kind of hard to give up. I, I like to weigh everything. Um, I think that's it. I got through all of them. Thank you again for watching my exclusive Steve Harvey Morning Show, Ask Me Anything, my second one, exciting. My new song is called Steady Love. And thank you, Steve and iHeart for having me today.